was just after 10 o'clock on August 22nd, 1955. The morning was hot, hazy, and humid, with some ominous clouds threatening to let loose a ferocious storm. The town was on its hands and knees, trying to crawl out of a heat wave that hit Carthage every five years or so. And according to the weather report, there didn't appear to be any relief in the near future. Inside a gray, dusty second floor apartment, Van Steen was just shoving the last piece of two-day-old burnt toast in his mouth while sitting on the edge of his bed, tying the laces of his shoes. A woman with blonde curly hair wearing nothing more than a dingy white sheet rolled over the lumpy mattress and touched his shoulder. Call me later? She cooed. Sure thing, darling, he answered, choking down the remainder of his food. Just leave your number next to the phone before you leave. She leaned toward Vance and kissed the back of his neck. By the way, my name's Amy. Amy Doe. Vance veered around and stared into her emerald green eyes. Yeah, well, my name's Dane. Vance Dane. I know, Mr. Dane. Remember, it was I who walked up to you. Vance stood and straightened his tie. Oh yeah, he said with a sly grin. You certainly were persistent. Amy sat up straight and the sheet slid down below her breasts. Well, I had to be in order to fend my way through all the other women vying for your attention. Vance chuckled as he slipped on his navy blue suit jacket that smelled as if it hadn't seen a bar of soap in weeks. Usually, the only women who try to get my attention are the ones who want something from me.